throughout the history of mankind. Extraordinary people have existed and accomplished seemingly impossible tasks. A lot of people have been given the Nobel Prize for outstanding achievements in different fields. The world might seem dark from time to time, but remember people like this have worked for the betterment of the mankind in the past. There are people still working and there will be people who will keep working in the future for the betterment of all of us. And this video is about the people that won the 1901 Nobel Prizes and why they won that. Let's talk about peace at first. There were two winners for peace, Henry Dunant and Frederick Pessy. Let's talk about Henry Dunant first. First of all, he is Swiss, so the pronunciation of his name can be Henri Dunant. This man is the founder of Red Cross. The Red Cross. Red Cross is known worldwide for its humanitarian efforts to improve the quality of life of people from all walks of life, no matter the nationality, race and religion. And Frederick Passy or Passy. He is also the founder of various humanitarian foundations. This man was so eager in improving the quality of life of everyone in the world that he didn't even enjoy receiving the honor that is the Nobel Prize. He had written that giving out a peace prize that is worth the amount of money it is would attract various money-hungry people. He stated that people would be motivated by money to do good for others, not for the sake of doing good for others. And that will in turn attract a lot of not so well-intentioned people. Economics? It did not start yet. It started later on. Much later. Chemistry. The Nobel Prize for the section of chemistry went to Jacobus Henricus van Hoff. He helped us understand the osmotic pressures in solutions and also he discovered the laws of chemical dynamics. I am not going to act like I am an expert about osmotic pressures and the laws of chemical dynamics. <clears throat> Marketing and MIS major. But if you want me to talk about it, comment below and I will study the topics and make videos. And for the sake of this video, in short, osmotic pressure is the minimum amount of pressure needed to prevent a pure solvent to pass into the given solution by osmosis. The pressure you need to prevent a pure solvent from passing into a given solution by osmosis. Next we have literature. For literature, the Nobel Prize went to Sali Pradham also known as René Francois Armand Prudhomme. He was a great poet and essayist. He was French. I cannot really do justice in explaining the contribution of the literary scholars to the world. But do remember, these people have been enriching the world for millennia. Some of his famous poems are Le Destines or Destinies. Le Revolte de Fleurs, Revolt of the Flowers, La France, Le Vain Tendresses, Vain Endearments, La Justice, Le Bonheur, Happiness. Apologies for my French pronunciation. Next we have Physics. For Physics we have a legend. He is Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen. Röntgen, the name sounds familiar, doesn't it? Not great, not terrible. This man discovered the Röntgen rays. 
also known as X-rays. Yes, the invention of X-rays were the cause for getting the Nobel Prize. The things we got so accustomed to that we don't even realize that it was a huge discovery back in the day. You could actually see if there was any damage in your bone structures without harming your body by scanning it from outside. That was a revolutionary discovery and that is why this man got the Nobel Prize. And for physiology and medicine, another legend. We have Emil Adolf von Behring. Again, the thing he invented is common knowledge today. He figured out that the person who already had a disease, after surviving, their body naturally creates antibodies. Those antibodies can be transferred to another person's body by transferring the blood from the person who has the antibody to the person who does not have the antibody. He pretty much ended diphtheria. If you don't even know what diphtheria is, you can thank him for it. Nowadays, a lot of people know that your body is capable of creating antibodies after having a disease. But this man discovered it a long, long time ago. And that is why he got the Nobel Prize in 1901 for Physiology and Medicine. Okay, that will be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. You already know that you can like, share, comment, subscribe and everything else. Consider this my reminder that you can do any of that and by doing that, you will be supporting this channel a lot. And if you want to go one step ahead and support me even more, then you can support me on Patreon. The link will be in the description section below. If you want to, no pressure on that. And lastly, I hope you learned something new today.